All right, this video I'd like to talk about dividing polynomials by other polynomials, which essentially means we're going to talk about long division. All right, and yeah, it's called long division for a reason. It's uh, it can it can take a long time. All right, so here's uh, here's a problem. We want to divide 3x squared plus 5x minus 4. We're going to divide that whole thing here by x minus 4. All right, so we are dividing x minus 4 into 3x squared plus 5x minus 4. So the x minus 4 is called the divisor, right? And what you're dividing into is called the dividend. All right, so here the dividend is 3x squared plus 5x minus 4, and the divisor is just x minus 4. Right? All right, then we're going to do this division, and that's going to give us a quotient, right? I'll point that out here in just a minute, and uh, possibly a remainder, which we will talk about that in a minute as well. So those are the four words, divisor, dividend, quotient, and remainder. So let's just go ahead and start working this. All right? So to do that, we take the divisor, which is x minus 4. Remember the long division symbol? And we're going to put the dividend under the long division symbol. Now, the long division with polynomials, very similar to long division with real numbers, you know, that algorithm that you learned um, a long time ago. When we had numbers, we'd say, all right, what do we need to multiply the divisor here by to make it be as close to the dividend as possible? Right, or close to the first two digits of the dividend as possible, or whatever the case may be, right? We're, we need to multiply the divisor by something to get close to this first part over here, and then we do the subtraction. It's the same idea, only um, this time we're just going to look at it in terms of, well, let's just look at the first term of the divisor, which in this case is just an x, right? So that's the one that matters. We're going to be asking ourselves the following question over and over again. All right, so what do we need to multiply this x by, this first term of the divisor by, to make it look exactly like 3x squared, the first term of the dividend? Right, and that's the key. We want to multiply this x by something to make it exactly uh, 3x squared. Well, that would be 3x. So we put the 3x up top, right, just like before with, with the uh, um, real numbers. And then again, just like before with the real numbers, you would take what you put up uh, top here and multiply it times the divisor, right? Well, it's the same thing here, only we're going to have to use the distributive property because you have a monomial 3x times a binomial x minus 4. So we have 3x times x, which is 3x squared. 3x times negative 4, which is negative 12x. Everybody with me? All right, and then we draw our line because what do we need to do next? Everybody remember? Remember, we subtract this part from the, the, the dividend up here, right? Well, uh, the same thing's going to apply here, only we've got a, a binomial, right? So, um, or I should say, only we've got a polynomial, right? So, really, we're subtracting this entire polynomial, 3x squared minus 12x, from the 3x squared plus 5x minus 4, right? So, on paper, it would look, it would look like this. You need to go minus and you need those parentheses to say, hey, we're subtracting this entire polynomial from this, from this polynomial up above it, right? And then from previous knowledge, what would we need to do? Well, that's a negative 1 sitting out here, right? So we would need to distribute a negative 1 through to both the 3x squared and the negative 12x, giving us a negative 3x squared and a positive 12x. Everybody with me on that? I mean, that's the mathematics that is happening. This is going to happen every single time when we go to subtract a polynomial from another polynomial. Okay, so I'm going to write it just a little bit differently. Since I know that I want to subtract this, this polynomial, 3x squared minus 12x, I know that I'm going to need to distribute a negative 1 through, and that's going to change the signs of each one of these terms down here in the, in the, in the polynomial, right? So the notation I'm going to write is, this was a positive 3x squared, so now it's going to become a negative 3x squared, and this is a negative 12x, which is now going to become a positive 12x. So that's just the notation I use to uh, show that I have changed the signs, to remind myself, oh yeah, I've changed the signs here, which means the subtraction part is coming, right? Because now we have 3x squared minus 3x squared, those go away, and that was the whole point for the 3x squareds to go away. And then we have a positive 5x and a positive 12x now, which gives us a positive 17x down below. Everybody see that? 
and then you bring down the minus 4, and then you start all over. We say, what do we need to multiply this x by to make it look exactly like the 17x, the first term down here? Well, that's a positive 17, so plus 17. Right? So you have 17 times x gives us 17x, and then 17 times negative 4 gives us what? Minus 68. And draw your line, and then don't forget to go back and change your signs. This becomes minus, this becomes plus. Add them up. 17x's go away, that's the whole point. Negative 4 and a positive 68 gives us a positive 64 down here, right? And the degree, the 64 down here, the degree on the 64 is 0 because the variable is missing. Remember, this is like x to the 0. And so the degree for that would be would be 0. And the degree for the divisor, x minus 4 here, the degree for the divisor is a 1, right? So if the degree down here is less than the degree of the divisor, then we, then we say that, uh, we can stop and we can say this 64 here is the remainder. And everybody, everybody remember we would write the big R and then the 64, you know, way back when? Okay, well we're not going to do that anymore, so don't, don't write the R64 thing. Instead, uh, we're going to write it a different way, right? A more mathematical way. All right, so the 3x plus 17 is the quotient. The 64 is the remainder. So 3x squared plus 5x minus 4 divided by x minus 4 goes to 3x plus 17. And then you take the remainder, and since it's positive remainder, put a, we put a plus, and we have 64 divided by the divisor, x minus 4. So it's the remainder divided by the divisor, and then that is how we write... the quotient plus the remainder part. All right? I said it was called long division for a reason, right? All right, let's try let's try one more. All right. So divide 8x cubed minus 2x plus 7, divide all of that by 2x plus 3. All right, so what I want to make sure that I emphasize now is that before you do the long division, you make sure that the degrees of each of the polynomials, both the divisor and the dividend, make sure the degrees of those polynomials go in descending order, right? The first one it was already set up that way. This one's set up that way as well. But you need to make sure that they you know, go in descending order. This is cube. This is to the first. This is to the zero. So we're, we're doing okay. The next thing we want to make note of is, are there any terms that are quote-unquote missing as you go in descending order. Well, look at this dividend. You've got 8x cubed, and then you've got negative 2x, and then plus 7. So the x squared term is missing. Everybody see that? All right. Well, it's not really that it's missing. It's that its coefficient is 0. There's really a 0x squared hidden in here. But because 0x squared is equal to 0, you know, we don't write the, the x squared term. But it will come in handy when we do our long division. So let's go ahead and set it up, and I can explain a little bit better what I'm talking about. And we put in the dividend, 8x cubed. And now since the x squared term is missing, we're going to put in what, what's called a placeholder, 0x squared. Right? That's really 0, so we're just adding a 0 in here, so we're not changing the value of the polynomial at all. Right? So 0x squared, and then minus 2x, and then plus 7. So if you're missing a term, you can put in a placeholder of 0 times the variable part that's missing. Make sense? All that's going to do for us is keep everything lined up for the division part. That's all. When we do the like terms here in a minute, when we add, up, add and subtract the like terms. Right? It just keeps everything lined up for us nicely. Right, because now we continue just as we did a minute ago. We say, what do we need to multiply 2x by to make it look exactly like 8x cubed? Well, that would be 4x squared. So you put 4x squared up top. And then we have 4x squared times 2x, which is 8x cubed. And then 4x squared times 3, which is 12x squared. Now go back and subtract this polynomial. So we're going to change the signs. This becomes minus, And this becomes minus. Add them up, we see the 8x cubes go away. That was the whole point. All right, we have 0x squared minus 12x squared, which gives us a negative 12x squared. Bring down the next part there, negative 2x. Start all over. All right, what do we need to multiply 2x by to make it look exactly like negative 12x squared? It has to be exactly like it. So 2x times what gives you negative 12x squared? Well, that'd be a 
minus 6x, right? Negative 6x times 2x gives you negative 12x squared. All right, so now multiply negative 6x times the 2x plus 3, and that would give us negative 12x squared, and then negative 6x plus 3 is negative 18x. Let me go back and we say, all right, we want to subtract negative 12x squared minus 18x. So uh, we need to distribute the negative 1 through, so this becomes a plus, and this becomes a plus. And then we add them up, we say the 12x squareds go away, that was the whole point. Then we have a negative 2x and a positive 18x, which gives us um, 16x. And then we bring down the plus 7. And the degree here is 1, which is the same as the degree of our divisor, so we keep going. So we say, what do we need to multiply 2x by to make it look exactly like 16x? And that would be a plus 8. So we have 8 times 2x, which is 16x. 8 times 3, which is 24. Go back and change the signs. This becomes minus. This becomes minus. Add them up. So if six, the 16x's go away, that was the point. So now we have a positive 7 and a negative 24, which gives you negative 17. The degree down here is 0. The degree up of our divisor is 1. So um, the degree down here is less than the degree of our divisor, so we're done. So we have 8x cubed minus 2x plus 7. All that divided by 2x plus 3 goes to 4x squared minus 6x plus 8. And then since it's a negative 17, I'm going to put minus. 17 over 2x plus 3. Remember the remainder over the divisor. You also could have written this as plus a negative 17 over 2x plus 3. Either way is mathematically correct. So that's it. Long division can be used to, to help us find other things a little later on. Uh, so right now we're just learning how to do the algorithm. Alright, so that's it on the long division of polynomials. Study well. Please let me know if you have any questions.